All right, and then our man panel is going to answer your questions. You'll love these after this. <laughs> And up next, our guide panel is ready to tell all. Oh, and guess what? We wow. have another Aussie with us today. Yes, a brand we do. new one. On the I end. might. We'll be right back. <laughs> our all male panel of guys is here with their ever and clever and honest answers to your probing questions about sex and romance. First up, we have actor and comedian Rick Younger, whose CD, Come On Now. Come on, Come on Now. Now is making people laugh. Rick is married with one son. He says it's his. And, um, <laughs> We have the very funny Chuck Nice, who can be seen every week on True TV's World's, World's Dumbest. Yes. He's been married uh, with children for 12 years, allegedly. All right, go on. Then we have <laughs> Andrew Trees, the author of Decoding Love, his status, married with a toddler son. I don't know why we're not putting up his newest book, which is filthy. I loved it. <laughs> yes. It's called Club Rules. That's right. Yes. We Frank took it from me. He grabbed it from oh, you? Oh, my gosh. It's about golf and everything else. All but, right. <laughs> Last but not least, filling in for our beloved Curtis Stone today is another Aussie. Actor Alex O'Loughlin, who's co starring with Jennifer Lopez in the new movie, The Backup Plan. Yes. We have movie stars. I We're tell very, you, we are very so busy. Hot. Yeah. All right, let's go straight to Miss Sarah Haynes for our first question from a lady. I'll take bachelor number four. Um, <laughs> Cindy from Virginia right now is asking a question about terms of endearment. Cindy? Why do men think that saying hey baby entices us? It doesn't. <laughs> I tell you the truth, I would never say hey baby to a woman. I'm more of a chicky chicky baby kind of guy. Like, hey chicky chicky. And chicky, how's chicky, that working that for you? Why well, do you guys do that though? Yell out on the street and stuff. No you know, they just, they just uh, trying stuff to see what works. They're trying to come up with Throw a new way. Like, Let's see if Let's see if this one works. And if he it says, does, hey baby. It's not yeah, well, you can, <laughs> you can say anything. You're right. You can That's say so anything. True. Let's hear from you, our yeah. new Aussie friend. What's yeah, up? Hi. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Hi. Hey, baby. Hey, hey baby. baby. What yeah. <laughs> why, why do women, she's asking, think that we would yeah. like that? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I've never, I don't think I've ever said that in my life, unless no. I've known the person for a long time. But it's like, I just. What do I, you say? I don't really. I sort of stumble, you know, I'm like, ah. Oh, uh, excuse me, and by the time they're like, what? I like nothing. And that's he's cute. That's right. he's cute. And see, the other thing, if you go to another country and you speak with an accent, that is very effective. And we love you accents. Me, how do you say, how do, hey, you know, and the next thing you know. Are you married, Alex? I'm, no, I'm not married, actually, but I've been told that if I, uh, <clears throat> instead of saying, hey, baby, if I just say, good day. Oh, that works. Oh, oh, yeah. that you work. had me a good day. See? That works. All okay. right, let's now get you're going to have a bunch of guys in the Bronx going oh, around going, good day. <laughs> hey, good day. <laughs> All right, next we have an email from Audrey in, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Here's her question. How do you tell a guy that he is a bad kisser? Oh. And, and what can you do to change that? Mm. Mm. Well, I think you had to, you got to be direct, first of all, because if you don't like the kissing, and it's the rest of the stuff isn't going to be no. too good. Can either. you change though the way you kiss? I yes. So. I think you should. If, 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 you had a great point before. Research actually shows that men <laughs> like deeper, wetter kisses than women do. So this is not an uncommon problem. <laughs> That's not the point I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the no, fact no, that he no, got to say no, deeper no, and wetter no, on national television. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, mom. I think, according I think according the to key, your book club rules, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I think the key is she doesn't need to tell him that he's a bad kisser. She needs to suggest other ways she would like to be kissed. Exactly. Well, we were discussing this earlier, and sorry, buddy, no, but, no, yeah. uh, don't you, be polite, this, Alex. This, right around here. this is important. Uh, <laughs> you know, is that today we we, we didn't used to bathe as oh, much, that's right. you know, and, and that we we now we bathe so much and we put on perfume and stuff, and we our natural pheromones are sort of disguised. And so in the kiss, that's that's really the most organic place that that chemical transfer can happen. So the Whoa, guys look on at that that was good. <laughs> that was good. That was really that good. Was so the cavemen who didn't use toothpaste. <laughs> Is that a better. lot of chemical stuff is transferred through kissing, and so it's like if the kiss isn't working, it's also telling you something else about yeah. what else isn't going to so work. So if the kiss yeah. ain't good, so you give them one more chance Stop. and say, anywhere. "Look, this is how I like to be kissing." You grab right, them, you kiss them. Just sloppy, That's, exactly. and you just have and to ask them to tell you. Move on from a bad kisser. That, no, I mean, if a guy is just a we'll bad just kisser, you. it's just technique. Then what you do yeah. is be a worse kisser. So, you know, just bite him, Ooh. stick your tongue in his eye, just do all kinds of terrible things. And then when he says, hey, I think we got to work on the kissing, you go, exactly. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break, guys. We'll be back. Approach. We'll be back in a little bit with more questions for our guys. Plus, fashion for pregnant moms. Yeah, and Bethany Frankel will be yes. here. Boys, boys, boys. We're back on this Thursday.
Bradley with more today and our Guys Tell All panel. Welcome back, gentlemen. Welcome back, guys. All right, here we go. Our next question, we have this one on tape. It's from a woman named Paula. Let's listen. Hi, my name is Paula and I'm from Brooklyn. And my question for the panel is, why is it that men never stop and ask for directions? I've been with my husband for eight years and every time we get in the car and drive, even if we're lost, he will not stop and ask for directions. What's your problem that with that? That seems to be the age-old question. <laughs> yeah. I think her husband is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever consider that it's not men, that maybe you married a dummy? <laughs> you ever consider... I'm joking. <laughs> you know, or she could just get him a GPS. That yeah. seems to be the uh, yeah, easiest yeah. solution. Yeah. One sociologist has said that men view conversations as more hierarchical, so you're either moving up or down in the conversation, and with directions, asking directions, you're obviously moving down in the conversation, so a lot of men resist that because they don't want to... Mm -hmm lower their status. And also a woman's voice, a female voice telling uh, you what yes. to do. <laughs> the thing is, I mean, the, the other thing is that, because we know where we're going. Oh. <laughs> yes. right. We just don't know. None of us, yeah. not, none of us have ever been lost. Yes. No, yeah. ever. And another thing, you don't know where that guy grew up. In the neighborhood I grew up in, you ask a guy direction, he's leading you down to a place to get robbed by the next guy who's his partner. <laughs> All, right. So. All right, we're going to head across to the uh, MSNBC Digital.com Cafe and Sarah Haynes. Hi, I'm with Amy from West Virginia, and she's got a question about men and their toys. Why do men feel that they have to buy big, expensive toys like speedboats and fancy cars? Who's buying speedboats? Speedboats, man. She married a rich guy. I want to hang out with her husband. Why do men have to buy Lear jets and stuff like that? Jeez. But honestly, men's toys, as far as I'm concerned, is women's shoes. That's what the way I feel about yeah. it. Like there are shoes I would never, I would it. never pay eight hundred dollars for a pair of shoes, never. But but, but but I would buy my wife a pair of eight hundred dollars shoes because I know that she would love that. You'd buy an iPad or something like that. Well, you, yeah, yeah. My well, father yeah. always said the difference between men and boys is the price of their toys, and it's like I think those toys are just a little connection to the little boy in us. It's like you mm. know. After a while, you got all these responsibilities, and this is the last bit of holding on to being young and cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems to me it's, it's just a matter of what can you afford. I mean, sure. I think yeah. if, you, if, you, if your husband's telling you, I don't want you buying those shoes because we can't afford them, yet he's going off yeah, and buying it, it stuff that you can't what, yeah. afford. But right. the, I mean, the other thing is, if, you, if you're in a position to have nice stuff that you like, I mean, uh, can you imagine if I had a rocket ship and we could just like <laughs> go into space for the I mean. It's like you'd have a lot of company. I'd yeah. have a lot of company. You know, I mean, it's. I think the other thing is people like. I mean, it's a reward as well, especially when yeah. men get into relationships right. and get married and have kids. I mean, a lot of men feel stifled by that. I'm not married, but I, I know a lot of men who are. I'm Do you sitting, ever want to be married? Three. Do I want to be married? Yeah. Um. Uh, not. He's <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. like not until after the movie opens. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> Be, I don't want to not be married, oh, but I mean, statistically, no, no, statistically, you look at marriage and half of them don't work. So, but what I, I think the word marriage is 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 more about like finding some one person who wants to on be with me, shit. Who, wants, <laughs> <laughs> who wants me to sell all my toys and have a really miserable time. So yeah, I, I do want that. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go to JC from Lincoln, Nebraska. All right. Here's an email question: What are three things that most attract you? To a girl, or really attracted you to your wife? Is that the one we? If the like? guys are married, then yeah. why, then. Yeah. Well, what are the three? If you look at my her, wife, what, what attracted when you? When I first saw my wife, I saw this beautiful face and these beautiful eyes. And then she got up and walked away, and I saw a really nice butt. <laughs> and I was like, so, so you saw every trifecta. angle. With it. Every yeah. angle. Then I said, I'm going to get over there and get to know her better. All right. So other than looks. What else attracts you? Well, the three things, honestly, for me were uh, her boobs and her face. <laughs> um, that's three, right? That's that is three. three. That's, that's three, three, right? Yeah, two boobs. Yeah, that's, that's three. three. Um, yeah, that's three. Two hands. Two hands. Two hands. Let's get Andrew. Two hands. You got to pick one boob. Wait, wait. Let's hear Andrew. Attractive, smart, and funny. And that was the trifecta for me. Okay. All right, Alex. Alex? Yeah, I mean, attractive. Smart and funny too. I mean, I, you know, but it's the sense of humor is so important for me because life yeah. gets sort of so serious. You have to, I have to have someone I can laugh with and someone who gets as well as someone. I mean, there's nothing like being with someone who gets your sense of humor and something will happen. All you need to do is shoot each other a look and you're and you're rolling. Yeah, you're, I mean, sexy. that stuff's important. Gentlemen, you have been awesome. Yes, you as you your do. Own, like, yes, crazy, you Alex. did. You're going to be with us tomorrow. What was going to do? <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> we really didn't know. We just pressure. wanted to look at you. We didn't care what you said. <laughs> <laughs> So right? tomorrow you're going to talk about your movie, right? I'm coming back tomorrow. Okay, right. good. Yes, okay. that's what we heard. <laughs> All right. All right, All if right. you have questions for our Guys Tell All panel, you can go to our website and let us know what they are.